Hey, what's up guys, Bench Fast Storm. And I have just eaten, taken a shower, and also watched Pokemon. But not all at the same time. Though two thirds of that was at the same time, and it wasn't eating and showering, by the way. It was eating and watching Pokemon. It's 2 a.m. right now, and uh, it is time for another Recreate It. Let's do it. This one's just a rectangle, so it's not gonna be that special. But I thought it'd be interesting to recreate anyways because it's the only desert map in the game. So, why don't we get on with it? Yeah, it's been a while since last recreated, and I also didn't have to count for this uh, map because grids exist for this map on the internet, and I will explain why. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Again, it's it's basically a rectangle. Right let me let me actually extend this a little bit. This this might actually be the most accurate map. Which is a sad thought. Actually no, let's increase it by one. I'm only increasing it by one. I don't think I need to increase it anymore. Okay. Going from the top left. And a the, exp the explanation. Is this a rock or is this a pillar? Is this a rock or is this a pillar? I, I don't know what that is. I think it's a pillar. It's separate from the mountain. So it's a, it's a pillar? Uh, basically, my explanation is that uh, this map is actually a desert treasure map, and uh, people usually use a grid to, you know, plan out where you're supposed to. I was literally about to. I literally. I legitimately was about to just start putting tiles on this background, which is. Okay, it's not the worst idea in the world, but it's not. How would that look? It doesn't look as bad as I thought it would actually but it is kind of jarring to just always have the same desert map background like so i think we are just gonna flat out that that also would be make this a, a very small episode so if all i do is just this and there's your sand i know it's not sand that's dirt this is sand okay let's work with this because this is actually closer to, to the original color and apparently this is what sand looks like i always considered this to be sand but it's apparently dirt Anyways, yeah, basically, uh, people use coordinates to identify what items can be found where during a random map, and this map especially... <sighs> okay. This map especially has some very convoluted locations. I am not kidding. Hmm, doesn't look too bad. That's, a, that's pretty much about... I'm actually gonna extend this. Yeah. So, in this particular map, let me just say that some locations are are, are quite convoluted. Also, which, which tile is the best for a church? I believe this is like a church or something. I think they go into it afterwards, which is what chapter 16 is about. By the way, chapter 16, indoor map, let's go. <laughs> Finally. Uh, I'll probably recreate, when the next game I probably choose to recreate will probably be something with a lot of indoor maps, because I, I can't just do outdoor maps all the time, guys. I, I can't. I really can't. I, th th there is a point where it gets kind of ridiculous. Okay, I think this is a very small church temple bastion thing. This is an eight tile. Wait, a seven tile. Sorry. My math was a bit off there. This is not seven tiles. This is seven tiles. Something like this. And then we have like a, like a, like a, like a, like a door. Okay, it's not perfect. Oh wait, no, it's pillars in the front, right? Yeah, it's pillars. Second. So green doesn't look good. Um, something like this. Something like this. I know it looks kind of strange, but it's kind of how it looks like on here. Yeah, desert map. Finally, right? There's only so many of these. This one has a lot of uh, beast units, because they're feral ones. And the, the boss actually becomes a recruitable character right after this chapter, which is a pretty interesting concept. Anyways, enough, enough talking. Let's, let's go to the next section. Okay, there's Bastion. Four tiles to the right is a little bit of space, and then we have a giant dang mountain. Alright. Cliff time. Anyways. Pardon me. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna... I learned something from last episode, okay? I didn't just take everything 
and forget it like 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 Samus after every single game. I, I try to make a reference that's relatable, but I never played Metroid, but I'm pretty sure it's accurate, right? Uh Okay, so we're actually gonna be using the bottom layer this time. And filling it in. Thank you. And then we're gonna take the top layer, and now we're gonna start building our cliff, you see. Just so it's more easier to create. What was I gonna say? Uh like Sam is from I use that joke already. Like like Sam is from Metroid. Uh yeah, I got nothing else. I am uh I'm not really good with the jokes as you can tell. This this mountain is weird. I think I'm gonna go up here. That doesn't show me anything. Okay, uh, we're going to the, oh, the map, the huge map over. That is a, that 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 big mountain. Okay, I can do it precisely using this though. Okay, so it's two down here, and one one. Thankfully, I have the grid. It has a like a grid, an actual grid that I can actually use for once. And I believe it goes. Here. There's a lot of stuff to talk about, I just need to get this started, you know, to focus. Two, three, four, five. If you can bring it, that was four, but it's fine. That, that's actually what we're supposed to do. And then what? Dang it, we have to do this, this weird cliff. But this is not gonna look good, so we're gonna do this. I probably should have made this. Please bear with me for one second. Just give me one second to bear with this. Bear with me, okay? Thank you. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you. Maybe I should put in the middle. Okay. Please bear with me for just another moment. Thank you. Thank you for bearing with me. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, I, I thought I'd have to put like two layers, you know? And that seems good. Okay, we can go to the third one. I can start talking finally. Basically, the, a lot of things. Uh, tutorial probably comes soon. It, it's I didn't make a let's make it first, and I I know what I'm gonna make. I've I've known what to make since like November. Okay, I think I know what I'm making. After that, I have no idea. Maybe I'll go I'll go to what I had originally planned, which is mythic items. I still have the entire list of the list of ones I want to make, so I'll probably do that right after, and after 52 I have no idea, but I'll probably just, I'll probably play some RPGs, <laughs> speaking of RPGs, that actually reminded me of what I was going to talk about next, Legends Arceus, I love it, it's my favorite Pokemon game now, it's my fifth favorite Pokemon game, wait no, my fifth favorite game now, which is a massive, massive jump, let me just say. This one is three tiles down from this little pillar. It's, it's, it's a big, it's, it's a big, uh, it's a big, like, you know, thing to say, but I sincerely believe that is true. I, I do think it's my favorite Pokemon game. That's how much fun I'm having with it. I'm not even done with the game yet. I'm almost done. 70 hours in, 60 hours in, I'm almost done. But 100%ing it is even harder. But I think I'm actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna have fun because it's actually I'm gonna have finally something to grind now. And this one might actually be fun. Kind of uh, missing is uh, not not gonna be fun. Not gonna spoil anything here. And I'm just I'm just putting that out there that I like Legends Arceus a lot. I know it's been out for two weeks, but I I thought I wouldn't spoil anything. Um, structure. I didn't even put a structure here. I'm gonna put for a structure here. This is like a, this is like a weird 
You can't go under it. I guess that helps a bit. So I can put something that I can just put as an obstacle. I don't know what- this is a chimney? Really? Okay. Oh, it's kind of like this, right? This is not- never mind. I need a three tile thing and this is like a- it's like a two tile or an even tile, so I can't really use it. Is there anything I can do with this? I don't think so. So it's... Um, one, two, three... It covers this one. It's like that, and then there's like a thing on top. It basically looks like that, but I'm gonna do something like put a put a, put a statue in between. There, something that kind of makes sense, but also kind of doesn't make sense. But uh, I'm I'm going with that. <laughs> We're going with it. Okay. Yeah, Arceus game, much fun. I, mean, I have a few complaints with it, and graphics isn't one of them. Surprise, surprise. I don't really care about the graphics of a game. I'm gonna be honest. Even if it looks like the... well, okay, that's a lot. Okay, th th there is a point that you cannot cross, which is basically if you make a game that actually, like, disturbs people's eyes, that, by that, at that point, you, uh... Is this right? It should be one lower. Two, three. It should be one lower. Wait, no, it's two, right? It's two, no, it's a three one. I don't know what happened here, but okay. I was looking at the overview because this mountain thing is right about here-ish. Put one lower just because I don't want to climb with this one. It's like a, I guess it's like a very small mountain. I, I don't know why it's here. Okay, it's a, it's a very small like, hill. Okay, palm trees. I can work with this. Yeah, Arc is getting very fun. Uh, I watched a Pokemon episode before this. I really liked it. I talked about my Pastor Zombies recording because I record Pastor Zombies before this. Uh, the Pokemon game, Pokemon, the Pokemon, so the episode contained, uh, uh, this is not right. It's down here. The, the episode contained Alistair, and Alistair is my second favorite Sword and Shield character. By the way, this comes for someone who really likes Sword and Shield. Uh, yeah, Alistair is my second favorite. This, what do I do with this? Cause this is like, oh no, that is a palm tree. I just, it's just, it just doesn't look like it. It just looks like it's cut off, but it's not. It is quite literally right there. But that means a mountain right there. It's like, okay. So it's like here, at least here. I see. Yeah, Alistair's in. Actually, Al, to my surprise, Alistair was in like two episodes, which made me very happy. Two episodes back to back. I'm very happy. I'm a very, I'm very satisfied with that. I, I didn't really think about it before, but yeah, Alistair is a favorite of mine. What do I do here? So like, that looks right. Goes on here. I don't know what it looks like to the edge. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna extend this a bit, just make it look nicer. Change this a bit so it looks nicer. Trust me, there's gonna be a lot of nicening up in this one, let me tell you that much. Oh, there's some grass here. Um, I can, I can do that. I honestly forgot that this existed. That nope, wrong one. That's not sand, right? I forgot, y'all. Forgot it's not sand. 
I mean, it is sand, but that one wasn't sand. It's too up. Oh, so the song I'm listening to, by the way, if for some reason anyone's curious, it's Skeleton Orchestra and Lilia, which is a vocalist song I have heard before, but this cover is fantastic. It is phenomenal. It is incredible. Because Kano covered it, and I really like it. And you don't know who Kano is. You probably don't like Vocaloid. Or something of the sort. But if you do, then go listen to Kano. Kano has amazing covers. She has a nice voice. And this jazz, jazzy version of Orchestra Nolia is really nice. Skeleton Orchestra Nolia. Okay, back back on track here. This one goes to the left of it. This one goes all the way up here, actually. So let me go up here. And just to make it more nicer, I'm gonna extend this, you know. I never use this, but this 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 actually kind of looks nice. Just let me change something because I want to do this. I don't want it to bleed off to the edge. Let's see, bottom left because I it it, it it's it's kind of alarming to say, but we are kind of almost done. So this one would be on the bottom if I had extra bottom, so I'm going to extend this by one. It's like something right here. It's actually right here, which is sad. And then the next area is blank, thank you very much. And next area is blank because we already covered that section. Okay, are you ready to spruce it up now? Because I am ready to spruce things up. We have complete freedom here. It's only been, what, 17 minutes? And we have complete freedom. Okay? When I say complete freedom, I mean complete freedom. We are free to do whatever you want in this episode. So, let's extend this. Anyways, so the, re so the, reason, why the, so the reason why people don't like... Or people had trouble with this map and finding treasure, and why you definitely want to bring the map up. So I wanna. I also wanna put this thingy. I don't know what layer that's on. This one. I'm gonna put this on symmetrical. I don't think that's there originally. I just want symmetricality. Yeah. Pe pe so the reason why is because like somewhere right here you put. Okay. So somewhere right here you gotta put a unit on it. First of all. If you put a Bjork or, if you don't know, a human unit there, you get an S rank sword, which is the highest rank in Fire Emblem, stuff like that. Uh, you get an S rank sword. Typical stuff, right? Also, I want to I I do something to make this interesting. I'm going to pull up the map and I'm actually going to dictate where each item is so I can make it a more unique map. So we can actually spruce up this map, you know? And if you put a Lagoos unit or a Beast unit, you get. None of these are a map. I need a map. I want to put Shadow Dragons in because uh, I want to use Norn because I haven't used Norn. And I also haven't beaten Shadow Dragon yet, which is weird. I beat Shadow Dragon with a bit of lights, but not Shadow Dragon. But yeah, basically, if you put a if you put a Lagos unit for some reason, you put a Lagos unit on Lagos unit on his one tile, you get a new unit with that new sword. How are you supposed to know that? You don't you use the internet. You have you you trial and error, I guess. Anyways, you okay? So according to this map, it's about right, about right here, I think. And then there's a white gem right here, so we're gonna put something else to indicate that. Some moss, which doesn't make sense. So there's your white gem. <laughs> yes, we're doing this. It's very interesting, I know. Uh, okay, here's a problem. We might have weakened this mountain a bit. Weaken is not the word here, but let's go with it. So, 
here. Make us five tiles up. So we're using the extend it from this down here. So we're gonna use this tile. Um, okay, we're gonna do something like this. And we're gonna do this. I wonder if I use the bottom. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with this. I can't make it look nicer, but we're gonna go with it. Yeah, you can do very specific things just to get that one character, and he's like one- he's the best sword master in the game. He's also level 12 and has Vague Kadi. No, he's level 8 actually. Vague Kadi, which is the OP unit. Yeah, okay, actually this map says level 8, yeah. And this is where a statue frag comes in. Uh, statue frag is your build by 2. Boots? Boots is right here. I know it's right next to the mountain, I know that. It's, it's actually right here. So we're gonna do... Like that. I know it looks weird, but that's where the boots are. I'm pretty sure that's where the boots are. If it's not, I am very disappointed in myself. And then the coins, like. Hold on, give me a second. It's eight down. And then I'll put one. So it's these three tiles right here. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a grass tile. Like this. So that's where a coin is. And right next to the silver blade, so we're gonna take the moss tiles. And like this one's like this, so this is where this is where you get shine, which is the D rank light tone. Think. Had the ratings is weird with light magic, I'm telling you. Had the ratings. Oh, this is one down. That would make sense. Give me one second. This is one down. Now it looks even weirder, but that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna spruce this up later, I can assure you. Guard is down here, four tiles right here. Well, it'll be, it'll be right here because I didn't change the left side of things. Took this moss, two down. Anyways, uh, I'm thinking of making more intros my channel not like put them put more of them in the beginning of an episode or like more variations you know something about and if I do go through with it is this right no it's actually right here which means this is also off which means it's not next to the mountain We'll go with it. I knew it was wrong because there's an area for physics right here. And that's all the hidden items by the way. I don't I don't know why I just highlight every single hidden item. But now we're gonna make things a bit more nice, you know. First of all, this this mountain right here just, just isn't doing anyone any favors, you know. Like 
He asks you for a favor and it just doesn't do it. Wait. He isn't asking for any. That's not. Okay, I messed that joke completely up. Anyways, we're gonna do something like this. It's. It's, it's better. Alright. Uh, Anyways, this one right here is a bit strange. Granted. Ain't it always. Up here. Yeah, I'm taking creative liberties in this in this episode. This is creative li liberties the episode. AKA, there's a whole lot of cliffs now. Wait, wasn't there a mountain down here? Maybe there's a mountain down here. Maybe not. I thought it was very... He traverses the, the map very slowly. Let's save that. We're not done yet. By no means. We are going to spruce this up. Let's begin. Alright. How about more palm trees? Because we're gonna need more of those. After all, this is a desert map, and this feels pretty lifeless without them. Let's need a door there. Should I put mushrooms? Are there mushrooms in deserts? I don't know. Oh, we're also gonna put stuff on the cliffs, by the way. That's why I made, like, this the middle. There's a lot of trees. Um, let's go with the cliffs. I know this one's kind of in a strange place, but it makes sense a little bit. But yeah, more intros, basically different songs is basically what I'm trying to say here. Not sure if I remember to use them all, because I do like the one I use now, which is infinitely great. But I'm gonna basically use more Vocaloid songs just to insert them in the beginning of my videos, you know. Do rose bushes make sense in a desert? I guess not, huh? Grass? That looks kind of weird. Put more like some D's. Some D's. This is basically what this episode is meant to do, huh? Shrubbery, the level. Don't worry, it's gonna get better, hopefully. Cacti! There's no cacti in this level, actually. That'd be a funny mechanic in Fire Emblem. If you stand next to a cactus, you get hurt for like 5 damage. Maybe the... So, a game came out called, uh, Live Alive, I believe that's how you pronounce it, actually. Or at least I say that, it's like, it's like, it's a game that just barely came to the West, or at least coming soon. And it has, it has like, it's apparently like a mix of multiple time periods and they come together. There's a Wild West segment, and it's apparently a strategy RPG, I'm gonna see what that's all about before I, I'm, I'm thinking about it, actually, maybe a little bit. Wow, that looks like a desaturated flower. What if we zoom in? Yeah, no, I don't like this at all. I, it used to be red, right? Now it's... Raphalesia. Is that a real flower? Yeah, no, this is just... This is just grass tile to level. This is desert. This is what happens when you make me make a desert. I mean, no one made me do it. So I'm gonna put more grass tile just to make everything more nicer. Because this is not gonna work out. It's just not.
I think it's just because there's like a lot of blocking stuff, you know. I'll change that. Make them all less blocky. I just made that one blocky again. The <laughs> uh. It's much better now, I think. Don't worry, we're getting to the cliffs. But yeah, I think that's all I need to say today. I don't think there's anything else. I record Plaster Zombies, I guess. That's not really much thing to say, though. The series is almost done, anyways. Um... It's something I just have a lot to say, you know? I'm... Wait, no, these are sandy cliffs, right? What am I doing? This is a sand cliff, not a dirt cliff. There. Now it kind of makes a little bit more sense. Now I can use whatever I want. Oh. Nope. Not that. It kind of bothers me. The fact that my game probably won't be revolutionizing. I mean, I know every game doesn't need to be revolutionizing, but... You know... People probably won't... Sorry, just weird thing to blurt out in the middle of recording. But, you know... It feels like... Nowadays, sometimes, you know, people tend to flock towards things that are revolutionizing. Doesn't it kind of feel that way? It kind of does to me, at least. And like, you know, sometimes it's kind of discouraging, you know? Because I, I, I'm making the, this kind of game. Not good graphics, RPG Maker, already has a bad stigma. Is that how you use it? I don't know. I don't really. Something like that, you know. But that's a lot of trees. Why am I using fill? But you know, that's, that's kind of how it be sometimes, I guess. I guess that's why I kind of want to put on itch heal just for like free or like five bucks, because I don't think it's worth much more than that. I, I don't think I'm, I'm gonna hack it up higher than 5. May, well, maybe 10. Just not higher than 10. I'm not hacking it up more than 10. It's an RPG Maker game, you're not gonna get much out of it. And it's not gonna have a, a special graphics or anything. I can guarantee that much. I'm already having enough trouble just writing the story. Think about how much trouble it would be if I, like, literally made new graphics for everything and as someone who isn't much of a, of a good artist. We'll say that. I'm an, I, like, I like to think of myself as an artist, just not a good artist. Uh, that's basically what I think I amount to in the grand scheme of things of artists. <laughs> I know it doesn't matter, but you know, sometimes you cut. I, 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 and sometimes I mean, quite possibly every day I think about that. It's 
kind of sad, really. But, you know, sometimes it'd be like that. Anyways, instead of being a downer or boring, as some of you may put it, we're gonna go back to the episode, so, uh. Anyways, uh. We got something going here. I think we are almost done. It looks pretty good, honestly. It looks a lot better than it was before I spruced everything up, but I do. I think we can put more stuff. No, I don't think dead logs are gonna help anyone. <laughs> Let's put some small dead trees, though. Like, they'd probably go in a swamp area. But deserts are basically swamps. Am I right or am I right? I'm not right, because I know that, 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 that I was being sarcastic. But I do think that trees might work. Anyway, I think I'm gonna make chapter 17, which is a four stage chapter, into a. Uh... Why does this look like the price kind? I think I just. Okay. I'm not gonna explain that. I'm not gonna explain what I just, just looked on. Okay. It's too long to explain, okay. Uh, and by the time this, this episode goes up, I'm not even gonna remember what I was talking about because I didn't even describe it explicitly here. Basically, it was like a, like a, like a, like a search up PLR chapter 15, and it's like a chapter 15 stock image or whatever, and it has like Apparent, well, upon further inspection, there's like a bunch of circles on the left, and it said like different file formats, and it kind of reminded me of the Prize of Kai uh, custom profile maker, which has circles on the sides. I was like, wait, someone made this logo in Prize of Kai? I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know anymore, man. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do this. Oh, right, since that's there, I can't do that. I'm running out of breath. I need to drink water. If only I had water. I'll drink water after this. Yeah, see, that doesn't look good. See this, is, see, this looks good because it's like on top of it and not covering it. I don't think I need to cover every inch of this desert with stuffs. To be fair, it's really pretty filled. Like, it's quite filled. You can't tell me this isn't quite filled. So I think I'm gonna leave it there. I'm actually pretty satisfied with this map. It's It looks like a desert map, and it looks like chapter 15. So with that said, thank you all so much for watching. This map's been interesting. And how much time has it been? 38 minutes, that's a new record. All right, let's go. Next time we're doing an indoor map, which is also gonna take not that long. We only made like one indoor map so far, and that's chapter seven, so. Uh, it would be nice to have another change of pace. So with that said... Wait no, we made two. Chapter 10. I forgot. So with that said, a time lapse will be... That's what I was going to talk about earlier. I think that's the last thing we need to talk about. Time lapse is going to come up after this because it's been three chapters. It's been a long three chapters, but still three chapters. But with that said, see you guys and stay safe. Bye.